Capricorn. It's Renee Michelle. How are you? You come you you're here with me on Oh I'm trying to shake them off. Back up. I'm gonna talk to them in a minute. Um let me start again. Boop. Hi, it's Renee Michelle. Hi Capricorn, how are you? You're joining me on Chronicles of Who's Who Spiritualist, my YouTube channel here on YouTube. Thank you for the likes, the shares, the comments. I really appreciate it. A girl is just starting out and excited, excited, excited about what's going on with y'all. All right, Capricorn, here we go. December 2015. December 2015. 2015. Now, Capricorn, I'm going to tell you, I, first of all, I pulled the extra two cards for you. All right. I mean, I'm like, bow, bow, bow. And you see I'm just going. <sighs> Something happened real quick, real fast in a hurry. Real, real fast in a hurry. You know what I'm saying? Something just knocked you on your ass. Bow, just like that. All right, that's the underline of this reading. That's what's going on. Okay, you have to start over as far as finance is concerned. Not, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. As far as finance concern, um, um, business opportunities, money, ideas, everything. It's got to start anew. It's got to start right now, right? Because something happened. Something happened where you were stabbed in the back. You was you did not see it coming. You lost your job. Whatever the case may be, that shit was like, wow, really? You gonna fire me now? Now? Oh, I can't read this no other way. I'm looking for another way to read it, but it's no other way. This is what it is. This message for specific to Capricorns. Got to start over. Knocked on my ass, but you ain't got time to think about it. You got to get up. Got to start over. Right? <sighs> this first week, you just like, what am I doing to do? Is you in the beginning thought processes of how you're going to get out of this, where you're going to get around this, how you're going to go, where you're going to go, what's the matter, what's going to do, what you're going to do. Let me think it, let me think it, let me think it out. Trying to come up with new ideas. Trying to get to the way. Trying to make it happen. That's last week. This week, you got an idea. All right, now I get it. Now I know what I got to do. Now I know what I want to do. You off to the races. Be careful. Calm down. You in charge and take your head, but you, you got to think a little bit. Don't be too forceful. Don't be too strong. Don't be too poof. Let me go because I know I need a job. I got to do the job. You know how you just push, 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 push so hard? I'm not telling you not to push. I'm not telling you that, look, it's not serious. It's serious. You right. But don't get overcome with emotion to where you're not thinking and you're not going along with the plan that you set out for yourself last week. Because this week you're moving forward with a plan and idea. And by next week, you should have some even stronger choices about which way to go and what way to go. Because I feel like the new ideas and stuff has you facing one way, but then when you sit down by the end of this week and think about it and look that way, you're going to see a whole nother view. Right? 
but still you're going to be caught between these two directions. So this week, you're going to be like, all right, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go this way. I'm going to do this way. Da, 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 da. And you're going to do that this week. But then by next week, you're going to turn your head and you're going to look and you'll see all these other ideas and possibilities. So in the last week of the month going into New Year, you're like, well, damn. I know I got to make a choice. Either I go left or go right. You know what I'm saying? I either go with these ideas that I had the second week or I go with these ideas that I had the third week. But I got to make a choice, right? Because I have to make money. There's any energy underneath you. You still got this fiery energy. You're still able to do what you want to do, right? Because I'm seeing now what they have me doing. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Now I see why they set them up. Okay. All right. So last week, you still had this fire energy. Like, I got to make a move. I can't believe this. I got to make a move right here now. I got to do something. I got to do something. So all these ideas for business are coming into your head. <coughs> all these ideas. Right? And then, uh, so many that you're juggling. That's what I'm telling you to calm down and focus. You got so many ideas that you're juggling. You want to go full stream ahead, but you uh, got so much. And besides whatever's going on in regular in your life, that you got to, like, calm down a little bit and decipher and, and pick five out of the ten ideas and go forward with those. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's just... Da, 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 da. And then you're like trying to juggle in your head like what to pursue first and which way to go first and oh and you're filling out applications everywhere. Bah, 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 you on every website, monster, uh, newsday, everywhere. You like bah, 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 bah. calm down, focus, streamline it. Right? Again, it's telling you. To let go. Right? Because the, by now you've built up kind of emotional energy that you're not focusing on because you're too worried about, look, I got I don't have a job. I don't have a, this. I don't have this. So I need, you know, the work. You, you, you're, you're focusing on getting the work, but you still have to deal with the emotional side. It's always painful to be fired or to be laid off or whatever. It's always emotional problems. And you got to let go of that old stuff in the other job or else you're going to go into those interviews. Yeah, my last job day and my last job day. Oh, I don't like doing this. this. You're going to have that previous attitude from them previous emotions, from that previous situation, from that previous time. So you have to, have to, have to make an assessment. And that's the third week. Because you're going to have new opportunities and possibilities. And like I said, you're going to look this way and you're going to see a whole other list of things that you can be doing. But what is imperative and what they're telling you by the third week is that you really need to take an assessment of your emotional side. The role you played in your termination, the role you played in whatever the situation is that ended abruptly like that, your layoff, if there's anything that played a part that is a part of you, the hurt that you feel that they never told you or warned you ahead of time, they just cut you off. All of that, you have to deal with it. You got to cry it out or whatever because you're like, I couldn't stand the job no motherfucking way. So you're happy, but then on the same token, you was upset because that's your financial stability. And you have to deal with that at some point before you move towards a new, new, new situation. So I have two twos at the end here, and two twos, one of them is you making a choice or a decision of which way to go, but also I see two of cups, which is a new start at love. How is that even possible? So I'm giving you this whole bum dumb reading about um, taking grasp of a bad situation. And they're telling you at the end that love is coming. You understand? Because at the, at the weirdest times you fall in love. And the person that comes into your life gives you that stability you need to say, hey, you can do this so you can move forward. And the craziest thing is, is that I dealt these cards. I'm like dealing these cards. And the first of all, it was a similar cards to the last reading, but they are placed in a different place. So I read them completely different than the last reading. Like, same cards, totally different situation. 
But on the end of here, like you're going to have to make a choice. But it's not really bothering you that much about uh, moving forward with this whole business thing, the choice you're going to have to make. Because you're in love and you're happy, so the new year is awesome. This new love, this it's at the flirty stage. It's like, I like you. I like you too. I like you. I like you too. <laughs> okay? I'm sorry about that, Capricorn, but the ending is fabulous. Fabulous. If this wasn't for you, it's the first time I'm saying this today, you the 12th reading because I went backwards today. If this wasn't for you, go see someone else. You know, you got um, um, Hood Tarot, Tower Tilly, um, who else? Um, <laughs> uh, I love all of them. Marie Moore, um, Audrey Allison, all of them that I love. Go check out one of them. They might have something that more suits what's going on with you before the Capricorn that I'm talking to. I'm talking to you. Reach me at Renee Michelle, 1975 at gmail.com. Also, you can check out what I'm about at um, hoodoospiritualist.tumblr.com. Thanks so much, guys. Happy holidays. See you next week. Ashe.